Welcome to Portrait Drawing with Miss Cernowski. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a portrait or a picture of a face in correct proportion. Can we all say proportion? Nice job. Proportion means we are going to get the size and scale of the elements of the face in the correct size and in the correct place. Let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is take a pencil and sketch lightly. You are gonna start just with an approximate circle. And it really doesn't need to be perfect and you can kind of keep going round and round until you get a circle that you would like. You want to do this kind of in the upper middle of your paper and then you're going to add a little bit of a chin on. Now, if this is a student portrait, meaning for a younger child, right? you don't wanna get the chin too pointy or too long it's just going to come out slightly, but that does depend on the person. Right? And so therefore, I have now the start of my head. Um, I noticed that I drew this one a little bit smaller, so I actually might even go and extend it a little bit more. Again, notice I'm pressing lightly because all these lines are going to be erased later. And if you can, you want to take a nice chunky eraser so that you don't rip your paper. Now, uh, the lines that we're about to draw are gonna help us know that we're putting things in the right place. First, you're gonna draw the vertical line down the middle. Again, notice I'm pressing lightly. You really wanna try your, do, your best to do it in the middle. And then we're gonna split this in half again. So you should be creating now a horizontal line. It's almost gonna look like a T. Now, People usually think that the eyes go way up here, but we kind of forget about our forehead and our hair growing out of our head. So this is actually the eye line. Now I'm gonna split this in half again. It's not gonna be at my circle. It's gonna be out here, about here. It's gonna be the bottom of the nose and then split it in half again. That's gonna be the middle of my mouth or the middle of my lips. Then you're gonna split in half these eyes going to be where your iris is, that's the colored part of the eye, right, so if you have brown eyes or blue eyes or black eyes, right, and so on and so forth, All right, and right now, it doesn't really look like much, right, it doesn't really look like a person, but this is going to help us put things in the correct spot. Now, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just darken my outline of things, and then again, take a nice chunky eraser and start erasing these extra lines. Now I might keep this one here a little bit, but I'm gonna erase all those extra lines that I don't really need, right? That extra circles that I was drawing. Now you wanna make sure you keep the lines that you drew to where you're gonna put things, but you don't need those extra lines for the face right, the ones that go all the way down. Okay, I can always go back and erase more later. All right, now I'm gonna start with the eyes. Um, and you wanna make sure that you have the same amount in between each eye. So if I'm gonna go, I can use my pencil to measure, kind of move it over. The amount in between the eye should be about the same as best you can as the actual size of the eye itself. Now, if this is the iris, right, meaning the colored part of my eye, also draw the pupil, right, that's the black part of the eye. Everyone has one, even if your eyes are black or really dark brown, you still have a separate pupil and iris. And then your eyelid cuts off a little bit of that, of that iris, of that colored part of the eye. It's just, it's just natural. And your eye, this little funky shape here, it's called a cornea. It's like where your tear ducts are. And then you wanna make kind of like a lemon shape or a football shape, whatever kind of shape you can think of, but you want to try to make it the same on both sides. And if you could even look in a mirror and see what shape 
your eyes are. That would be helpful. All right, then I can start to draw the eyelid. Again, that's not the eyebrow, that's the eyelid. And there we go, we have our eyes. All right, next I'm gonna go move down to the nose. Now your nose actually right, falls at the bottom of this line. You have a little bit of a circle here, right, for the point of your nose. Notice, again, I'm drawing pretty lightly until I'm getting it right. I'm going to add in my little nostrils. And then your nose kind of curves up on the side. And this is where people, I want you to actually feel your face right now. So if I tilt this up, I can feel the bridge of my nose goes all the way up into my eyebrows. Right, so my bridge of my nose comes all the way up and curves around. And that's not my eyebrow, which is like my brow bone. And I might need to come in a little bit more. All right, and then my eyebrows would sit on top of here. Notice I'm not doing so, so many lines, right? Your eyebrows especially if you're a child, are probably not thick, though it does depend on the person. Or you could just kind of fill in the shape of them, somewhat curved. And it gets thinner kind of as it moves up. So we have our eyebrows that frame the face. A lot of times people forget these, and then you kind of look like an alien. All right, and last but not least, we're going to do the mouth now. I'm going to make this is going to be my midline. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. My mouth, the rest of my lips are going to be lighter. You don't want it to look like it's pasted on. I have a little bit of like a mountain range in here, right? Where it dips in the middle, comes up on two points. And same thing on the other. Now, if you know that you have a nice wide mouth, right? You could draw a little bit wider than that. You can put some dimples if you have dimples. And then I'm going to go back just kind of make some parts darker and I can erase some of the extra lines right next time we can look at the hairstyles uh, and just to give you a little bit of an idea right, your hair will be growing on your head so your forehead doesn't really look won't really be as big as it looks now and the last thing we're gonna do today is the ears the ears fall between the nose and the eyebrows and depending on how much they stick out, you can draw your ears. Right? Some people have really large lobes right at the bottom. Some people don't. But so you can kind of just draw them either way, trying to make sure they're even, right? And kind of pick which one you want to do. All right. I hope that really helps you learn the proportion uh, of where and what size to put things on your face. Happy creating, my artists.